right, guys. I'm already in pajamas. I don't even know what time it is. 6.52. I'm already in pajamas because it's Jay's weekend. We came and got the kids a little bit before 6. And, yeah. So, you know, we got some Taco Bell. Like, I don't want to be... I'm cold, so I have a sweatshirt on. But, yeah, I'm in pajamas. And I don't care. I'm going to get comfy, eat my tacos. All right, I've got three crunchy tacos. Hopefully, it's all in here. Three crunchy tacos. I'm starving. All I need is, like, a handful of chips. <laughs> I know, healthy diet, right? Got some cinnamon twists. I just washed my hands. <laughs> I have two soft tacos, add sour cream. I got the beefy Fritos burrito. Haven't had one of those in a while. Nacho Supreme without beans, add guacamole. I'm so hungry. Chicken quesadilla. So let's just get started. I'm starving. Friday night. Uh, two days ago, they announced that. Wait, what day was it? Oh, yesterday. Yesterday, they announced that the kids, like all of the state of Ohio schools, are going to be closed. Uh, they'll have school. T they had school today, and they'll have school on Monday, and then they're off school till April sixth. So I just really need to get a lot of things in order before I have all the kids home all day every day. I'm trying to spring clean and organize. I'm so hungry. So he's got the kids for the weekend. Maybe. Poor Adri. nights ago for their first Wednesday visit, their one midday week, midweek day visit. She came home, everything was fine. The night before bed, I was painting her nails and she said her eye hurt and she had like some goopy stuff in her eye. It's like, okay, you guys are just playing at the park. You know, like you got something in your eye. In the morning, or no, before I went to talk to her before bed, it was like that again, and then in the morning it was really bad, so I kept her home yesterday. I couldn't get her into the doctor before my court hearing for a child support and visitation, so I went ahead and took her to urgent care. Urgent care, doctor said it was just allergies, told me to get her some allergy medicine. So I went and got allergy medicine. Well, then this morning, um, she was super congested. So she was coughing a little bit and she was super congested. So I gave her the cough medicine decongestant that her doctor gave her like a month ago after she was getting over the influenza. And sent her to school. I went to pick her up and as soon as I pulled up I wanted to cry. Like she looked horrible. Her from her nose to her mouth is just red and raw. Apparently her nose just ran all day long. Because I didn't give her the allergy medicine because she was stuffy. So I gave her stuff for congestion and a cough because that's what she had this morning. She said, how was school? She said, it wasn't, today wasn't a very good day. I said, it wasn't. She said, no. I said, because your nose is running. She said, yeah. I'm like, I felt like the worst mom in the world. Like, it's, it's tough knowing what to do. So I just called Jay, or texted him and said, you know, how's Adrian? And he said, she's not, he said, I don't know. He said, she doesn't want what my, what my dad made for dinner. I said, well, what did your dad make? And he said, sausage and eggs. I said, well, she doesn't like eggs. She's never eaten eggs in her life. She's never liked eggs. Allie will eat them, but Adrian's never liked eggs. So he was going to get her something to eat. What I forget what she wanted. I said, see if she wants Raymond noodles. I said, she usually likes those. If you have them, just make those. And I forget what she wanted, so he just called me and said he was just leaving to go get her food. And um, he said she felt warm. So she said she felt fine other than her nose running. He said, yeah, she said she feels fine. He said, maybe it's just me. He said, I can't find a thermometer. I said, we well, already left. And the kids are your parents. I said, stop and get a thermometer. Just go ahead and get some children's motion just in case. So he's going to get her some food because she's hungry. He's going to get me posted. That's the thing. Like, she didn't really want to go anyway. She wanted to stay home because she doesn't like going there. Really. She likes to go to my mom's because her, her, one of her best friends is at my mom's. 
was like, sorry, I was court ordered yesterday. So. But she's gonna be like sick and miserable. I don't know. Of course, like always, I cry when they left. It's like two days. I mean, I need the time. I'm gonna try, I, I usually use mild sauce. I got some hot sauce to try though today. So I might try that in a minute. I need the time to myself. I need time to do things. And she's going to be home with me for three weeks straight. But it's like, if she doesn't feel good, she just wants to be home in her bed with her mom. So we'll see how she feels. She might feel better after she eats. I don't know. So I have three crunchy tacos, egg sour cream, yummy. I love tomatoes. There's something in my face. I love tomatoes, but I feel like anytime I get them on a taco, they just I get it like a bad one or something. Okay. Three crunchy tacos, add sour cream. Two soft tacos. I don't agree. Beefy Fritos burrito. Cinnamon twist. Chicken quesadilla. And then Nacho Supreme, without the beans, add guacamole. So the last time I had the kids, I was gone like the whole time. Running errands, looking for crib bedding. <laughs> Shopping. Treat myself to fast food. You name it. This weekend, I don't want to go anywhere. I ran and got food. I'm always going to do that. I kind of wanted Panera Bread. I have a gift card for there from, for there from Christmas. Let's clear the other side down. This is literally two minutes away. I was gonna go get the party nachos and just like eat them all day because I want to be like working on stuff tonight. But I didn't see them on the menu. Do they not have them anymore? I didn't see nacho fries on the menu either. They do they not have those anymore either? Are they gone? They don't last long. All right, we're gonna try some hot sauce. Like I don't like super spicy. Just keep an eye on my phone just in case. Just in case he needs to get hold of me about Adrian. Not bad. That's were pretty good. <clears throat> I buy the mild sauce at the grocery store. I'm starving. And last time I bought it, it was buy one, get one for a dollar. So I got a hot sauce for a dollar to try. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff.
Yummy. I've tried the when they had the spicy Doritos tacos. They don't have those anymore, do they? Do they have those or the ranch? Or they just have the nacho. I have so much to do. a list of things I want to do like spring cleaning wise video wise a little bit of everything <clears throat> this case idea is like nothing that's what's in this section come on now just with you So I've been saying forever I need to clean out my, the refrigerator that's in the kitchen needs cleaned out. And that freezer. These are just meat, rice, and Fritos. I thought there was cheese in them. I don't know. There might be. I need to clean out the refrigerator, freezer that's downstairs, and the chest freezer. So hungry. I haven't eaten. Oh. So, I had a handful of chips today, salt and vinegar chips, that's all I've had today. It's 7.06 p.m. For dinner last night, Jay went and got ice cream from McDonald's because he was here yesterday after court. So I had a caramel sundae, that was my dinner because I wasn't hungry. So the last thing I ate was Jimmy John's yesterday, like right before I filmed my live video yesterday. Like 4 o'clock, no wonder I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> So anyway, a few months ago, <clears throat> before my grandma went to Florida, because she goes to Florida for the winter, it was shortly after Jay left. She, like, cleaned out her cupboards, her fridge, her freezer, and brought me so much food. 
so many bags of like frozen kidney beans and lima beans or no lima beans and pinto beans. Like, I don't eat those. And I was, as I was putting away refrigerator stuff and some of the like cupboard stuff, pantry stuff. Some things have been like expired for a year or two. <laughs> And I noticed some of the freezer things have been expired for a while. Freezer stuff lasts forever. So I did go through and just get rid of stuff that I'm not going to eat, that we're not going to use. I don't know. This whole... This whole coronavirus thing is crazy. <clears throat> I went to the store yesterday and got Adri's allergy medicine after the her doctor appointment. I grabbed her allergy medicine and I grabbed a case of Diet Dew and it's like, I felt like everybody was judging me because that's all I had in my cart. So I went ahead and grabbed a four pack of paper towel. I know. Yeah, four double rolls of paper towel and a six pack of toilet paper. I was like, that's what everybody's going nuts over. So I'm like, I felt like everybody was judging me because I wasn't getting it. So I just got a small pack of each, which I have like 12 rolls of toilet paper. I only have like three or four rolls of paper towel. I'm about to have all kids home for the next, um, <clears throat> for the next three weeks. And I'm going to be doing spring clean, so I really could use the paper towel. Oh. But I also, I need to film a haul because I got some like spring cleaning supplies. Like I'm getting the store good stuff for everyday life, not for this whole crazy thing. This sucks. I ordered a rug for Alex's bedroom today. I just got an email that's on back order. Um, it was like on clearance for 70% off, so I ordered it, and now it says, we hate when this happens, but one or more of your items from your purchase is on back order. Please be advised that we bill at point of sale. If you'd like to receive a refund for the back ordered item, no problem, just reply to this email. Oh. Just tell me how long it's back ordered for. Her room's always cold. Her room is the only room in the whole entire house that's carpeted. Like, we just put padding and carpet down from our old house here. But hers is actually carpeted. And the floor is so hard. Product is out of stock. I ordered a four by six. It's normally $131. It was it's on sale for $51. Look how cute it is. It's white with pink polka dots. You probably can't see it. Yeah, so it's white with giant like pink polka dots. There was this one, then there was one with diamonds, and I, I had sent the picture to him, like which one would be cuter for her room? And he said that not the polka dots, but then I asked Adrian and Alex and they both said polka dots. So Allie wants this, she's excited about this polka dot run, rug for her room. And now it says, out of stock. Yeah, email me when it's back in stock. Like, how long is it out of stock for? Why is it listed available if it's out of stock? That's going to make me mad. Four feet by six feet. Oh, it's 11 pounds. So it doesn't even tell me when it's going to be back in stock. Product is out of stock. Email me when in stock. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what does it say? I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. It won't even give me like an estimated time frame of when it's going to be back in stock. That 
sucks. So I already paid for it. It's already paid for I'm not going to cancel it because she really wants it. I just put it in from the email me when it's back in stock. Dang it. See? Always something. So I need to clean up my freezers. Go through all that stuff. I need to clean out, pull everything out of my cupboards and see what I have. I wanted to go to the grocery tomorrow. Well, that's where I was at. I went and got, so I grabbed that stuff yesterday. But people have posted pictures all night and all day of all the stores here. Like, everything's out. Bread, canned goods, like everything. It's like, come on, I wanted to go to the grocery tomorrow with no kids. I was going to make, I was going to go through everything and go through and make my grocery list. And it said, tomorrow's the last day of the 10 for 10 sale. It's my favorite sale. So I would, like, make out good getting stuff for, <clears throat> for like, lunches and stuff for them to be home because they have all that kind of stuff on sale. I don't know. I'm actually excited about the three stuff from school. It's like, if I just had one kid... I would volunteer to babysit, but I can barely keep control of my three. There's no way I can offer to babysit. It's like all the working parents. Like, Adrian School, they don't have a spring break. Their spring break is Good Friday. And then Saturday, then Easter, Sunday. When they go back Monday. That's their spring break, so they don't get a spring break. So their last break was Christmas break. <clears throat> and since Christmas, we've had so much sickness going through our house. So it's like three weeks of them just, we don't have to load up. We get up super early. <clears throat> I still will because the baby's still going to get up. So will Allie probably. We have to get up super early, rush around, load up three kids, go to school, wake them up from their naps to go get Adrian from school. You know, homework. Every night I'm with three kids. Like I don't even get to see Adrian. Like I don't even get to spend time with her. So three weeks. Put my thing like this house in order so like me and Adrian can work in her room or work in the playroom or do fun stuff together when the little ones nap. I want to see if I can get Alex potty trained in those three weeks. Cause we're not gonna be loading up and in the car running around all the time. We'll be home. Just relax. We can watch movies at night. And if we're up a little bit late, who cares? We wanted to get up super early. Not every day, of course. But it's just been nuts. We need this. Like Christmas break. Christmas break's insane because people are doing last minute Christmas shopping. And they have all the holiday stuff. You don't really get a break. <clears throat> so I'm excited. These kids get a break. They get to stay at home. Yeah, there's sickness going around. That's why they're staying home. But still, they're staying home. They get to spend quality time with their family. Well, some. Some would be babysitters. But for my household, I'm excited about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm going to go out of my mind. But... <laughs> So Jax will be one in a little over a month. Like, where the hell did that year go? Adrian's eight. Allie's three. Time just goes so fast. And there's just... And I don't even have kids in sports. Like, people that have multiple kids in sports, like, that's all they do is they get off work and they run kids around and then they come home. It's homework, dinner, bedtime. Like, life is just too busy. Once 
to get, once this break's over and we get back on track, I want to see about getting Adrienne to, like, gymnastics <clears throat> one night a week. She used to go at the one. She loved it. And she's really good at gymnastics, and she loves it. And so I have time with, like, other girls her age. Because, like, if, during the week, if she's not at school, she's here. If she wants to play with kids, she's playing with a three-year-old and a baby. You know, there's no kids around here. <clears throat> so I need to get her some, so at least one night during the week. Crap. It would be nice, well, say so it would be nice if it was on Wednesdays, the day Jay gets them, because then he could just come here and watch the other two. It's like, well, that's not fair, because then Adrian doesn't get any time. She'd be at gymnastics. I don't know, this whole thing's stupid. Like, he comes and gets them on Wednesday. He lives, like, 25 minutes away. So by the time he comes to get some, gets them to his house, they have dinner. Adri has to do her homework there because it's a school night. He got him home. It was, like, a little after 8 because it's supposed to be, like, 5 to 8 that he's supposed to watch him. They said we can rearrange it a little bit. But it's, like, if we lived closer, it would be different. But he spends all of his time driving. I told him, I said, maybe if we're, you know, if we can get along, then Wednesday nights can just be, like, a fun night. We'll stay here in my town. I'm, like... One random Wednesday, go to Chuck E. Cheese and let the kids play. One random time, go to the bowling alley and eat pizza and just let them play. Like, or sit here and watch a movie and have pizza and play games or something. Just something so they're still getting to see their dad, but they're not spending the whole time in the car and running around and messing up bedtime and all that. That's just... But on the way here... Alex and Jack's fall asleep. So they get a 25 minute nap right before bedtime. So then they get here and they're not ready for bed. So then they're up late. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm ready for a break. It's so weird though. Right now stores are getting cleaned out everywhere, but we don't even have any cases around here. Huh? Oh, so good. Hmm. Well, I saw my paper towel, I was gonna say. <clears throat> I bought a few packs of microfiber towels so I can start cleaning with those. It's like going through so much paper towel. Paper towel's expensive. If you get a big pack of toilet paper, <clears throat> a big pack of paper towel, and I'm a bottle of fabric softener right there's 50 bucks. Like, like I said, I've really got to start printing pennies now that <clears throat> everything's set. i got to really watch my spending. So I'm not buying paper towel very often. Because I'm using microfiber that I can just throw in the washing machine. That'll save a lot. I do need to get tissues though. I didn't know I was out of tissues. I would have got them yesterday. Well, Adrian finished them yesterday. I think Jay took the last one yesterday when he was here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting full, guys. I don't know, it should be right. So I ate three crunchy tacos. <laughs> The Beefy Frito Burrito. A soft taco adds sour cream. If I eat this, that means I eat half of a chicken quesadilla.
Adri's feeling. <clears throat> she said she feels fine. Like, when I pulled up and saw her, she kind of had her head down. She looked up and she was pale. Her whole nose is all red. And then, like, I asked the doctor yesterday. He said, no, she's fine to go to school. It's allergies. He gave her notes that she was excused for yesterday. But when she got in the car, she said, Mom, my one teacher even said, why are you even here at school? You shouldn't even be here with your nose run like that. It's like, first of all, her nose wasn't running this morning. She was so congested she couldn't even breathe. Second of all, I was told it was allergies. Like, she's about to miss three weeks of school, and she missed yesterday. There's no reason for her to miss them. It's just allergies. Like, damn, what's a mom to do? Kind of pissed me off when she told me that. It wasn't her teacher. It was a teacher in one of her little groups or something. It was like, they have their homeroom, but then they go to other teachers for different things. I said, well, did you tell the teacher that you went to the doctor yesterday and he said you were fine, it was allergies, and for you to go to school? She's like, no. She's like, I, I, blew, I had to, I probably used 50 million tissues all day. I, cry, I cried in the car because I felt horrible once I saw her. I was at how was school day, and she said, today wasn't a very good day. Because mommy sucked. I called the doctor, though, and I asked him, I said, you know, I said, I gave her the decongestant, the prescription decongestant cough syrup that the doctor gave her the other day. I said, so I didn't know if I could give her an allergy medicine on top of that. Like, I don't want to overdose her with antihistamine decongestant crap and make her drowsy and have her falling asleep at school or just overdose her. Like, I didn't want to do that. And she said, no. She said, I can go ahead and give her both. The one's like every six hours and the other one's once a day. I called on the way home from school. That's how soon I called. So as soon as we got home from school, I gave her both. I'm thinking, how shitty of a teacher to say that to a little kid who already feels like crap, is running, has a nose running like crazy. Why would you say, why are you even here? You shouldn't even be here. It's not her fault. It's mine, okay? I suck. Not her. That, that makes me mad. Poor Adrian, she just didn't even say anything. It's like, she wouldn't know what to say. She just turned eight. She doesn't know what to say to defend herself to a teacher. Who's giving her crap for being at school with a runny nose? And then I asked her, I said, did you go outside for recess? And she's like, yeah. I said, who did you play? She said, nobody. I just walked around by myself. Which, she might have wanted to walk around by herself. Or she might just want to stay with people because her nose was running so bad and she couldn't just carry tissues all day. And she looked up and her nose, it, it was not like that today. So it's just from at school. Which is bright red and just like so like raw. Because she'll wipe her nose and she'll go, she goes like this and wipes down. I told her, I said, stop doing that. I said, use a tissue. Put on both sides of your nose. I said, blow. And then kind of pinch together and get it that way. And she does it. She wipes down like this so it's just raw. But still, and I didn't have any tissues or wipes in the car. Because I don't ever, I don't know. I'm just the worst prayer person. So I just love the kids and go. It's like, it takes like 10 minutes to get there and 10 minutes or 12 minutes to get there and 12 minutes back. I don't even take the diaper bag. I didn't have any tissues or any wipes, so I gave her a microfiber towel that was in my glove box that I used to like dust off my dashboard. That's all I had to give her. And now I made her go to her dad's. I told him, I said, if it gets to the point, and he, he hasn't even told her yet that he has to work. He texted me and said, I don't have to work tomorrow. So I told him I can only do four hours. I'm like, what the hell? I said, you haven't worked Saturdays. He's freaking salary. I'm like, you haven't worked Saturdays in years. And now, now that we're getting, that you're getting the kids, you've got an attorney to get rights and visitation of the kids. I said, now you got to work. I said, he's like, well, I can just get him tomorrow to work. I'm like, no, we're not doing this rearranging it for your schedule. I said, they, you can come with them. They, you can come get them today at five o'clock. Like it says, I said, your parents are going to have to watch him tomorrow. I mean, I'm sorry, but if he goes into work at 7, he'll be home by 11. So it's like they'd watch him for very long in the morning. But I can't rearrange my schedule and be excited to make plans for my weekend when I don't have kids, no matter what my plans are, and then just drop them when he's told on a Friday he has to work the next day. I told him, I said, Adrian's going to be mad. I said, she already didn't want to go. I said, then I told her it was probably just be for one night. But then as I look around at what needs done, I'm like, no. I'm like, you're going to have to go the whole weekend. You have to come back Sunday evening. So then she cried. Because she didn't want to go for the whole weekend. 
I mean, she has fun. Every time she goes, she has fun. But it's like, just knowing she has to go stay at her dad's with... It's not just at her dad's. It's like, his, his mom's there, his dad, his grandma, usually his sister and her kids. So it's like they're just hanging out with just their dad, which I don't know if that'd be better or worse. I don't know. And he's like, well, just don't tell her. It's like, I didn't even tell her that he has to work tomorrow. But I didn't want her to be upset and then just cry and be all worried about it and all upset before... I don't know. I told him, I said, tell him you can only work every other Saturday because you are getting your kids now. Like, you got an, you hired an attorney. You're paying, the one paying the court cost because he wanted to split it. <laughs> His attorney asked if we could split the court cost and my attorney's like, no. She doesn't have any money because I don't work. I haven't got child support since he left. And the judge is like, you know, he's like, this is only the second pretrial, so it didn't go to a full-on trial, so it shouldn't be that much. So Jay agreed to pay all the court costs. Which I have no idea. I didn't know it cost to go to court. I'm like, I know we each paid for our own attorneys. I know you had to pay for court. I don't know. I've never been in a courtroom before. I don't know how this stuff works. Oh, what a mess everywhere. But all I can do is try to stay positive and stick to, stick to my dreams, my goals. What I, would do. I said at the beginning of the year, my goal this year is to buy a house. I still know how I'm going to do it. I need to get a new car, too. Because mine is just not big enough for the three kids. Like, I can barely get Jax in there in his seat at the angle that he's in. It's just, Adrian has to be able to get in and out of the passenger side, back seat, because that's how you pull up to school. And she just gets in the car, like, you pull up and get, like. So I'd like to get my own van. I wanted a Honda Odyssey. I found a couple when Jay was getting his van, and he, him and his dad went and looked at Chrysler Town and Country, and that's when they got. So I'm fine with him having the van. He paid for it. It's not what I wanted anyway. I mean, it's a lot easier with the kids. He just fixed the brakes on it, because they were messed up. Yeah, he just paid like $1,100 to fix the van. His trailblazer, a couple weeks ago, the exhaust fell off, and it busted off like at the catalytic converter, so he said, cover all this. So he said, so he's like, it's going to be... $250 to, $270 to fix my exhaust. I'm like, that's not bad. I'm like, my dad had to have his fixed. It was going to be like $700 because he had to buy like the whole part or something. I don't know, something ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe if he gets a trailblazer fixed and drives that, maybe he'll let me use the van. I don't know. Like being in this house, it makes me realize so many things that I want when I buy a house. Or even if I have to move to another place. Like, I can't be picky. Like, I don't... I love that Adrienne has her own space upstairs, but I don't want that. I don't want a house where my... I want all my kids to be in their beds on the same floor of the house that I'm in. I don't know why. I just... I'm always like, what if there's a tornado? Adrienne's upstairs by herself. Like, yeah, we'd all get together. I'd round them all up. It's like, even the thought of rounding all three kids, like, I, two of them are little. I have to carry two of them. I can't grab it. Or, like, a fire... There's so many times I lay in bed at night and I cry. I'm like, what would I do if there's a fire? Like, how would I get all three kids? Oh, I can't just go set Jax and Alex in the front yard in the middle of the night. Or uh, This is the things I worry about. Like, how can I take care of my kids, like, in any situation? <laughs> I'm sure all moms do it. My one friend, Ashley, she said that she's terrified of something happen because her husband works night shift and they have four kids. She said she's terrified that something's going to happen at night. And she wouldn't be able to round them all up or get to all of them. So she, I think, I'm pretty sure she has them all asleep, like, in her room where she can get to all of them. But it's like, I want me and all my kids on the same floor. At least while they're little. I mean, if they're teenagers, okay, they could undo the locks and open the door and get out. But these windows, some of the windows, like, even if you unlock them, they're harder than crap to open. I'm like, Adrian wouldn't even be able to get them. And she'd be too scared to jump down to me. Like, what the hell would I do? God forbid anything ever happened, but it's like, <laughs> I know you can't still worry about the what ifs, but just things that cross my mind since becoming a single parent. I'm like, I'm the only one here. I'd have to get all of them. I wouldn't be able to grab anything other than my kids, and it would. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, I need to stop talking about it. I need to stop rambling. I'm full. Completely full. I need to. This one like has nothing on it. Excuse me. I have so many videos I need to get up that I already have filmed. 
like two Nadine West videos where I filmed the unboxing, but I haven't filmed the try on part. And I have a bag that I haven't opened yet. I need to film all of it. I need to do an Amazon haul. All my cleaning videos. And I have so many that are already filmed. I need to get out of my out of my camera. This memory card just didn't only has like 50 minutes left. I think I have a couple hours of stuff on it already. Huh. These taste weird today. Okay. Soft tacos. I love reheating in the microwave because then the cheese melts and they're delicious. Side this for later if I get hungry. Part of me wants to just put on Sex in the City and have it playing in the background. Because I used to watch it all the time, but with kids you can't. Part of me wants to just sit and watch YouTube videos, but then I will get nothing done. I don't know. I need to make a list. I'll make a list of what needs done first. That I have to do when the kids are not here. Oh, like cleaning my oven. We got something I'll have to do, like, my undivided attention, just get it done, you know? So many of these are made out of pasta. Alexa, are Taco Bell cinnamon twists made from pasta? It looks like I'm not able to do that for you. For other ideas, just ask me to open free time. Alexa. Thank you. Anytime. I mean, I always think her. Given which doesn't do anything for me. This world's crazy. One day, electronics might run the world. And this way they'll remember that I was nice to them. <laughs> Hopefully. I thank Siri too. Hey Siri. Are Taco Bell cinnamon twists made from pasta? Okay. I found this on the web for a Taco Bell cinnamon twist made from pasta. Check it out. No, they're not. from 2013. <clears throat> uh. Are they really? Jazzed up cinnamon pasta. Of course, we shouldn't assume that our beloved cinnamon twists have been a pasta sham this whole time. We can't be 100 certain that these photos were actually taken at Taco Bell. Or that you can buy a bag of pasta, throw in some cinnamon sugar, fry it up, and make your own version at home. Still, these photos that didn't puff up into cinnamon goodness have us a little suspicious. They look like the twist. Oh, so I don't really know. Hey Siri. Thank you. No problem. Okay, I said it was full. These are like air. 
Ey, da dem dem. Pasta or not, you are delicious. And that's how you do it. That's how you put away some Taco Bell. This will be good leftover too. I'll save these out because I might snack on those here in a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, I need to get busy with my list. Multiple lists. I make a list of lists, literally. Yeah, I made a mess on here. Not gonna make a list on this table tray. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.